Today I'm going to be making a meatloaf. Now you might be thinking, meatloaf? Hey, this is March 19th of 2020. We've got serious business going on, and this guy's making a meatloaf. Listen, there's a lot of folks at home right now. I get that. Ground meat is kind of a staple right now. And there's a lot of folks looking for a new ground meat type of meatloaf recipe. They're looking for that new recipe. They're sick of the old recipe or they just want to change it up a little bit so that weeks on end will not become cumbersome. So let's take a look at a brand new recipe. Today we're just going to put it together. I want to do this from heart. I don't have any ground meat right now, but I have a roast and I have a grinder. So there's going to be some ground beef real soon. This is going to be a delicious tasting meatloaf that has all the right flavors in it. It'll be nutritious and it's a great way to stretch things. And I want to teach you that when it comes to things being stuck together, you don't always have to use eggs and breadcrumbs. It's not always necessary. Today's meatloaf is going to be delicious and special. You're going to love it. It's going to have a bit of a southwestern flair. Now before we get in the kitchen and I show you all of these ingredients, let me remind you right now we're in troubling times. The kitchen is a wonderful place of coming together for the whole family. It is something that is communal and it, recipes like this, they should be shared. Let's, let's get together and do them together. That's the special moment right now. So there's lots of folks at home. Make that kitchen not a place that you run the kids out of, but rather a place that the family gets together in. Bring in some chairs and make it, make it home the way it needs to be. Now our kitchens used to be communal that way. Ladies and gentlemen, please take a look at the rest of my channel when you're done with this video. And there's some links down below in the description box you'll need to look at. But right now, we get on to this recipe, meatloaf. Come on, let's take a look at the ingredients. Let's go. Beautiful ingredients for this very special meatloaf today. Now, first of all, it's about the meat. I've got this fantastic chuck roast out here. You might be thinking, hey, if you've got a chuck roast, why are you going to be turning it into a meatloaf? Well, guess what? Today, the recipe was meatloaf. I don't have ground beef, but I do have a grinder. And you know, when you have a grinder, all you have to do is pull some meat out and you're ready to grind it. I keep slabs like this in my freezer ready to go at any time. I have this, going to grind it up, and we're going to be adding to it some onion and garlic, sage, cumin, paprika. Back here is some bourbon. That's optional, folks. There's also some chipotle sauce there. I have cheese that's a sharp cheddar and right here we have some diced tomatoes in their own juice and all of this together is going to create a most delicious tasting meatloaf whole new take on meatloaf there we go. as you can see even at a medium speed, this does not take long to get her done. There's your diced onion ready to go. Now how's that for good looking? Delicious looking, right? Now, here we go. Let's get this done. Now folks, I have my meat all ground up now, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting things in it. I'm going to be putting my garlic in there, and I'm going to be putting in this chipotle sauce. I'm going to be putting in the onion and the spices. Oh, oh yes. Now, when it comes to the cheese, oh, that's a special thing. We'll be doing that in just a little bit. But right now, 
get your spices, onion, garlic, and that hot sauce all mixed in there together and then press it out flat because then we're going to put the cheese on it and roll it into a log. Now, folks, what I have done is mixed all of those ingredients together inside of that meat. And when I was finished, I pressed it out flat, put the cheese on it, and then rolled it out into a log, which is what you see here. Now I need to put my bourbon in here. Now what this is going to do is just going to add a flavor to this. The alcohol in it will cook off and it'll cook off early, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry about that at all. Right now I need to get these over the top and I'm just gently pouring them in. It's time to get this in our oven. Let's go ahead, put a lid on it and get it in there. Folks, it's in the oven now. I've got my timer here. I want to set it for one hour. I want to check it at the one hour mark. That's three pounds of meat. So it's going to take it a little while, first of all, to come up to temperature. I'm using a heavy cast iron pan, so that's going to lengthen the amount of time a little bit. Okay, so I have to take that into consideration. Please check yours with a meat thermometer or with a, better yet, a chef's thermometer because they're very accurate. Make sure you're at 165 degrees when you pull it from the oven. It can be a little warmer in the middle. It can also be just a little pink in the middle. It doesn't hurt it as long as it's 165. That's the way I'm cooking mine up. I'm looking forward to it. It's delicious. All we got to do is wait. Get a timer. The quantity of everything that we've used today started with this right here. This is about three pounds of chuck, okay? Now, with that, we did some onion. And for that three pounds of chuck, you're looking for about a cup to a cup and a half of diced onion mixed into it. Also, three to four cloves of garlic, two teaspoons of sage, two teaspoons of cumin, three teaspoons of paprika, three quarters of a cup of nice smooth bourbon, a quarter of a cup of chipotle sauce. Over here we have some cheddar cheese and that was eight ounces of shredded cheddar, 15 ounces of tomatoes diced in their own juice and all that together equals one delicious meatloaf. Let's take a look at this gorgeous meatloaf. Absolutely. Mm. This is absolutely superb. Really, really good one. Okay. You know, this is going to be one that goes in my permanent file. I'm always looking for new ways to do a meatloaf and this one is banging good. The seasoning is dead on on it, and it is just full of flavor. It's rich and robust. You don't taste the chipotle so much. It's just in the background, and it makes it warm and kind of woody, as well as that bourbon that gives it kind of a woody side, but it doesn't taste like bourbon. When you cook it like that, not a problem. Folks, this is a really, really delicious dish. Please enjoy it. Um, if you would, please take a look at the rest of my channel. That's Texas Cooking Today. There's a lot of recipes on there. If there's a suggestion you have, drop it in the comments. Take a look in the description box right down below there. You're going to see my links. Links to Texas Cooking Today, Chef Trotter's Tips, another YouTube channel. There's also my website and the recipe for this is on that website. You can get caps for Texas Cooking Today also. So, good stuff. Thank you, and enjoy your meatloaf. It's a good one. Mmm. Oh, God, yeah. All is set up with my F8 settings at 1660 speed. So, I need to turn this guy on. See, all of this before each and every video. <clears throat> I 
Okay, so we'll turn this guy on. Maybe I'll use this like an Easter egg in one of my videos. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? This very, very clip right here on the, in the back camera. <clears throat> watching the front camera. Watching the background lighting come on. And yeah, what a lot of folks just only see the one camera and don't realize that that's not a green screen that I fill in color in. That's actually a, I do my own background. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, hold it. Let me think. I'm not supposed to be touching your face right now. However, I just did. Now, this is... Oh, my God. Hang on. Let me stop. So, this is March the 19th. Um, this is a day that we're going to be focusing on meatloaf. Now, I thought right now at this time, uh, hold it, let me stop right there. Damn it. How about I just stop this clip and we get rid of this one. We're going to start over and it'll be the recipe version.